Oh, hey guys, what? this is Vinny91, and I'm talking about Michael Pactor. Yes, I haven't talked about him in a while, because, in at least for me, he hasn't been saying any game analysis that's been, like, big in a while. Anyway, he was talking to Jeff Keighley about the PS5, and he made, even though he was half-joking, a weird statement. Here it is. Five, yeah. 800 bucks. Have really? You, have you looked at the specs? Uh-huh. If they, if they make the mistake they made with PS3 and charge 600 or more, right. They, they've screwed themselves. So I don't understand it. It's like 50K or something and like 10,000 frames a second. I don't know what it is. It's really fast. But they're not going to charge $800. I know. I hope not. But I don't know how you spec that thing out at three or 400 bucks. I just don't know. So Maybe they'll surprise so, you. Uh, they're not going to surprise me at E3, though. We're talking about E3. They dodged E3 yes. because they didn't have any good news to tell us. Well, there... should, not good news. They just didn't have anything probably new to announce, right? Yeah, but how do you go? You're a business. How do you go a year with nothing to say? That's like us not having this show this year. Yeah, but part of it's, I mean, I think in, they would say they're probably so far ahead right now. With like, they are. So well, God, you know, that's, right? and imagine if you did that with your career. Yeah. You're ahead, you just cruise. Me too. <laughs> just take a year off and do nothing. It doesn't work that way. You so always get ahead. What you're hungry. You got to be hungry always. Yeah, you see how he was kind of joking because he knows it's not going to be that either. But he is right. As you've seen in my video with the PS5 leaked like benchmark, the amount of power they're putting into this console, they could easily sell that console for $800 and be justified in it, right? But they're not going to do that because they can't. No one is going to buy, no matter how strong, you could have a console, right, that has the same level of power as the 2080, TI even, and if it's $800, a lot of people still won't buy it. Why? Because console gamers, yes, they like their graphics, they like their games to run really well, but... Console gamers aren't like PC gamers where they're looking for the highest graphics, where they have to keep updating their PC every few months, maybe even, just to have the highest graphic cards and whatnot. No, console gamers in general, I think, they like to buy their consoles, they like to play their games. Yes, they like them to be graphically high and they like them to run well, but for the more, most part, they just want to have fun. They're not like PC gamers where they really just want a lot of power or something like that. And... Yes, even though the PS5 looks like it's going to be a very powerful console, even more powerful than the 1080, graphic-wise, console gamers still wouldn't buy it if it was 800 bucks. So Michael Pachter, yes, he was half-joking. It's not going to be 800 bucks. I still think the maximum they're going to have it for is 5 because even with 500 they're not going to sell as many as they could if it was $400. Because remember, the PS4 sold like hotcakes. Why? Because it was $399 when its competitor was $499. So I think the maximum they're going to be able to sell is $4.99. That's the maximum they're going to have for the PS5, but I really think it would really do well if they could somehow get that price down to $3.99. Now, with the amount of power they're putting in this console, I really just don't see it, but hopefully they'll be able to do it because that will really increase early sales, I think. Anyway, what do you guys think about this half-joking Michael Pachter prediction? Do you think the PS5 is going to be over $500 on release? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Like, share, subscribe. May God bless you all.